Hey, so I am going to show you how to manifest anything you want. <laughs> Tip number one. Yes, we are going straight to the point immediately. That's what I do in this channel. I do not waste your time. I give you valuable content. So subscribe and let's start. <laughs> So tip number one, pick only one thing that you want and you need to be very crystal clear on it. If you think like this is the thing that I want and I want the most but you're not focusing on it, it doesn't come into fruition because it confuses your mind. So pick one thing, that's the thing you want and that's the thing you will focus on. Okay, so for example, you want to be rich but under this umbrella of rich, it's, it's basically wealth, right? So you want to acquire certain things. It looks like you want to build your own business. You want to get certain car, certain purse, whatever. Buying a new house, buying a designer bag, whatever. So whatever is at the top, you just bring rich, right? Bring millionaire, manifest X amount of money you want that will enable you to get all of these things I just talked about. Those things fall underneath being a wealthy person so being wealthy or rich is an umbrella term and then things fall into those so desire. instead of thinking i want all of those things just focus on the umbrella on the top okay so tip number two mind movie second of all i want you to do this morning and night watch your mind movie so how do you make mind movies what is mind movie first of all okay so it's a technique used by joe dispenza it's aimed at saturating your mind with what you want and you do this before you go to bed and when you wake up twice because that is when your mind is most susceptible to receiving information it is really easy to make a mind movie what i like to do is i do it on in short or just your mobile video editor app like iMovies will do just fine just get a bunch of images that represent your dream life and over it you can put quotes like i attract wealth i attract miracle whatever your dream life is okay and then in the background i put instrumental songs my favorite one nowadays is the one from life of pi tigers version or also like lulubai from that movie it's in south indian language the point is to do what's natural to you but that's how i make my movies don't get too hung up on this idea that you want to do it certain way because mind movies are very easy to find if your if your desired outcome is very common then you can just find those mind movies on youtube it's very easy to find it's very easy to make don't spend too much time on it it doesn't actually matter whether it is perfect or not the purpose is that you're trying to saturate your subconscious mind with the idea of what you one tip number three affirm all day long <laughs> thirdly i want you to affirm 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 you need to saturate your mind with this you know affirmation i am rich i am good in my grades i get a pluses whatever you want the whole concept of affirmation is that you make yourself believe it's real if you say it enough times your mind will believe it is real therefore it will be easier for you to live in the end result and act like you already have it part four part 44 tip number four is put out a frequency of your desire you need to put out a frequency that you already have what you want because how you can attract it to you if you're not vibrating on the same frequency okay so for example you want to attract money but here you are worrying about your bills and you feel poor and you have this limiting mindset no abundance mindset obviously that money is not going to come even i used to be really really stuck on figuring out how to how do i act like i already have the thing i want i mean i found a way it really it really works but think of a very specific and realistic situation that can happen when you have the thing you want say you want to be a superstar so what can happen in that situation your agent calls you and tells you that you got to go to this country and walk the red carpet tomorrow if someone said that to me right now immediate thought would be like oh my god i haven't worked out in a long i'm not going to red carpet 
I'm just not ready. I haven't been eating healthy. So my skin is breaking out. I don't have the right wardrobe for it. I'm not ready to give interviews because I don't feel like I'm currently eloquent enough because I haven't been reading in a long time. I've been just binging on Netflix. These are just some example, okay? <laughs> so, and from there, you can say, okay, the person that is ready to immediately fly and grab this opportunity, that person is probably working out going to gym every day it's, it's eating healthy it's reading to improve themselves and they you know break it down like that and that's how you want to live in the end like, the idea is to live the life of that person whenever i am not consistent with who i want to be always ask yourself throughout the day am i aligned with the person i want to be am i aligned with the person that has what i'm trying to attract right now you don't need to do any of those three six nine method blah blah, blah. all of those techniques pillow method water whatever you don't have to do everything you know about manifestation the point is the entire premise of technique or any technique is to literally just get you to the state where you can saturate your mind it's not like magical thing all you need to do is live in the end live in the output and affirm and believe like you already have it so tip number five as it is it is state akin to sleep something i also want you to do at least once per day is get into a state akin to sleep so state akin to sleep no, Neville Goddard method, but you visualize a scene in your head five seconds long. Say you win a lottery. What's the feeling? What does it look like when you're looking at the screen, the Powerball? You look at the ticket, you realize you won, and you scream and hey i won that's like an example okay of a scene and you want to go right into the end result of it like and the output and the end in the output you don't think about the process you don't think about i bought the ticket i'm picking up the numbers whatever you just saturate your mind to replay it over and over the final output over and over in your head for like 10 minutes and the point of it is that you want to nearly be falling asleep while doing this this is when your mind is observing everything if you're doing all of those things correctly you're living in the end result you're living in the output you can even throw in like a meditation if you want like if you're really unable to get into that state and control your brain guys 3d will reflect it but meditation could help there is no deadline for manifestation you also have to think of divine timing some people in the manifestation community don't believe in divine timing they think uh, we ourselves are the god and, and they don't believe it i believe in god I, or, or the thing that i feel like has huge power over me and the universe in, i think there is some forces at play which can control the way things unfold but i also think that we have a sudden say in things and in the life we choose so yeah i'll give you an example of uh, divine timing how not everything needs to happen in the moment say you're manifesting a lottery win and right now you're really bad with your finances you just spend everything you win on a lottery most likely you will blow it you're, you're likely to blow it you know most lottery winners are actually depressed and they end up broke more than they were before they got the lottery money so instead of universe giving you that win when you had no idea what to do with your money and most likely you were to spend it say the universe gave it to you when you were in position where you knew what you're going to do with that money what a blessing that is right <laughs> would you be angry that you had to wait one more year for that win to come in and the divine timing is at play all the time like that is why living in the end result helps you with your future. It helps you become the better person. When you're ready for it, universe will give it to you. So that's the point of living in the output, living in the end. So you're ready. It prepares you. One of the if you if you know about manifestation, chances are you watch the movie Secret. In that movie, there is one example about divine timing. Is that if you wish for an elephant and you're living in an apartment, imagine you wished you manifested on this idea that you have an elephant. Imagine in your living room just 
seconds after you said that there would be an elephant how would you take care of it you live in an apartment you have no space for elephants to roam around in the open in the wild you don't know how to take care of them you just like the idea of having an elephant now for one year you manifest on it you will start getting ideas it's okay if i have to if i want to get an elephant i'll probably have to visit some centuries get an idea how to acquire one how to take care of those is it okay to get more than one how much it will cost me to take care of those is this like an adoption is it like a pet what is it going to be you will have to figure those things out and you will need some time for it right so the 3d reality is always conforming so never give up you have to persist you have to live in the end something that will happen that when you start to do all of these things it will show in your 3d in like little ways or you will get signs and synchronicities shown to you this year was such a challenging year for me like i have been tested in my faith in my work my whole year i cannot even began to tell you guys how hard this year has been for me and the first number i saw was 444 and i thought what does that even mean and i'll, I'll i looked into it and i have been you know it means keep going <laughs> so that happened and then it changed to 777881112222 which is funny because i never ever got these numbers before in my life or even paid attention to when i started to manifest and live in the end and then these signs would kind of like come up and i would have crazy synchronicities and because i'm able to trust the universe and trust how my life is going to unfold i know the universe has got my back i will achieve everything i would not be surprised at all if many of you did manifest a thing you wanted if you're a beginner and manifesting big things for you it's hard like car don't start with that maybe manifest a paris a cup of coffee whatever start small because you want to be able to believe in the idea of meditation manifestation <laughs> i think that is success at first if not you're not going to like you're going to feel like there is a huge block for it and it's really important that you feel positively about it while doing it so start small manifestation is not hard at all it is natural we create our reality constantly non-stop you have to constantly live in the end and think like the person who has what you want Joe Dispenza's daughter she's like this master at manifesting and he in this book describes uh, she manifested a full paid trip to Italy that was her dream and then she also manifested an unlimited shopping spree what she would do is she would go into her meditation and she would you know get into the feeling of wish fulfilled like how does it feel to have this unlimited shopping spree and then when she comes out of this meditation she leaves in the end she doesn't think about how it's going to happen because does this person that has shopping spree has this italy trip think about how it's going to happen no you just need to believe that it will happen you don't need to know how that was all for today i hope you guys stay positive i hope you guys meditate i hope you guys are kind to each other i will see you tomorrow let's stay connected subscribe and come follow me on instagram if you are on instagram otherwise i'll, I'll just i like hanging out with you guys here so mm. that's fine too i will see you tomorrow bye